And here we go. We have some more breaking news coming out of LA. This time with the Chargers making another move here. According to Ian Rappaport, the former Vikings linebacker and special teamer, Troy Dye is signing with the Chargers on a one-year deal. Minnesota wanted him back very badly, I've heard. But Dye will have a more or a bigger chance, a more of a role with the LA defense with the Chargers and Jim Harbaugh. Now, before we get into the video and I break down who Troy Dye is and what he brings to the team, make sure you guys do me a big favor and hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, it's free, doesn't cost anything, but also comment down below a letter grade for the Chargers offseason so far. It's been weird, it's been entertaining, but I don't know if Chargers fans are happy right now, right? Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, both gone, leaving the wide receiver room in dismay, right? But you also add Will Disley um, in... You know, bring in Gus Edwards. You have Hayden Hurst, who's probably going to sign to the Chargers, and Puna Ford just signed. So you do bring in some guys, but man, losing those wide receivers could hurt. Give me a letter grade down below, but let's jump into Troy Dye. Now, the main thing that stands out in my eyes for this pickup for the Chargers is they just recently lost a special teamer in Aiden. I forget what his last name was, but I know he ended up signing with another team. Now, Troy Dye is a guy who has been hoping to get more playing time in the NFL as a main linebacker, has gone a lot of time as a special teamer, right? Trust me, this guy is a special teamer at heart, but also shows potential to be an absolutely fine linebacker if you need him to do so. Now, the first thing I notice when looking at this Chargers defense is when you take a look at the linebacking core, there's not too much depth, right? You have Nick Neiman, you have Diane Hanlon, uh, Henley, right? There's no depth at middle linebacker. This is a guy that can come in and make some plays, right? We've got an outside throw here, ball gets tipped up in the air, has the instincts to go up, catch the football, and bring it to the house for a touchdown. Now, these are the little things that you need out of your linebackers to just play good zone defense, but also be able to come up and make some tackles as well. Now, the one thing about Troy Dye is he is very tackle reliable, right? One of the most, uh, you know, one of the most reliable tacklers on their special teams over the last four seasons, and he's going to be just like that for this LA Chargers team. Now, over his career, 80 tackles, 44 solo, one sack, one forced fumble, one fumble recovery, and obviously this interception as well. I'm excited for Troy Dye because he's been a guy that's looking, looking, looking to get more playing time. He works really hard and he's always deserved to get more playing time. They just didn't really have room for this man to get too much playing time, so they just didn't play him, right? Last season, the Chargers ranked number 18th or uh, number 17, I'm sorry, in rushing yards allowed per game and 13 in yards allowed per carry. 26 in touchdowns allowed per carry or uh, rushing touchdowns allowed per game as well, right? So Troy Dye is a guy that can come in, add depth, but potentially even work his way into a starting role in this defense. Now, Troy Dye is 27 years old, 6'3", 225 pounds, was a fourth round draft pick out of Oregon back in 2020, but the potential is still there. I like what he's done through his career, right? In four years with the Vikings, has played three or 408 defensive snaps, had eight starts as well, right? totaling those 80 tackles but I hope here in LA he gets more of a shot to be that full-time guy more of an opportunity to come in and show what he can actually do as a full-time linebacker now do me a favor and comment down below who do you think will be the starting interior uh, uh linebackers for this Chargers team going into next year not only are you adding a special teamer but you're adding a guy who has potential to be a full-time starter going forward let me know what you guys think hit the like button subscribe if you're new join the family and I'll see you guys in the next update for uh, the Chargers hopefully soon peace